Well, it really feels amazing because this is the first time Bangladesh has take, participated in FameLab and I'm the person who represented Bangladesh so it's kind of history and probably this is something that I can always look back in my life and I, I'll feel proud of myself. About joining FameLab, there's an interesting story. I have a friend uh, named Sihinta. She wanted to join FameLab so when she you know, sent me a text on Facebook, she was asking help for me to about a topic. So I asked her, why are you preparing yourself about this topic? And they sh then she said, there's a competition uh, where you have to explain science in three minutes. I looked into this and that was the last day of filling up the form in FameLab. In fact, I had only two hours left. I had no idea what topic I might choose or I might give. So I thought I'd do on sleep paralysis because I go through this a lot. And that's how I got into FameLab and I ke kept winning and then I came here I did a presentation on the connections between our brain and music. So, you know, when we listen music, it really has got deep connections with the brain. In a way, we can say that music, music has actually got controls over our brain because you feel happy when you listen music or sad or you feel the move, urge to move because you have the music has got control over your brain. I would say all the students, especially who are of my age, you really should try to come to FameLab because first of all, you get to meet 30 people from 30 different countries. Since you meet lots of different people, you get to have lots of different experiences and you can learn lots of different things from all of them because all of them are different in their own way. There's one reason. And the another reason is that FameLab is the biggest science communication community. So it really feels great to be a part of this community. I would say my curiosity and of course my luck and I would say, yeah, of course, my hard work has brought me up to this far. I'm really proud of myself, which I really am not most of the times, but now I'm really proud of myself.